Welcome to part 6 of my Tabo Black Widow Mods videos. In this video I was really hoping to receive the extruder, mount it, test it and do those types of things but unfortunately it's not even shipped yet so I don't know why the fuck it takes this long to ship but I ordered on October 7th and as of today, November 8th, it's still not shipped. So. I'm not going to be able to work with that unfortunately so I don't know how, what I'll do exactly in this video but I'll start with showing you the LED light that I received a few days ago this is the light that I received it has V-shaped LED so it has two strips in it and it has this Mickey Mouse looking connector in one end it's made by a company called this I'm not going to bother to pronounce that and here is the cable that I made it only comes with the white and I had to do the rest but otherwise it seems to be good and here it is installed as you can see it lights up the area really well the flickering is because of the camera it doesn't look like that but as you can see it fits in the closure perfectly and it lights up every last detail and it is really bright the camera doesn't do it justice it's very bright in fact a bit too bright in my opinion but whatever i hit the cables behind like that and fed it through to the bottom chamber through here and i plugged it in to that power strip in the future I'm going to be using the relay board to turn the light on or off but for now this is the way I'm going to do it and as you can see when I turn it off it gets really dark so you can clearly see the big difference that this light makes so it was definitely worth my seven dollars or whatever I spent on this now I will try to fix the broken filament sensor that I talked about a few videos ago I have a theory that the reason that the filament sensor doesn't work is because I have a few of these jumper cables linked together and it's a bit too long and too thin of a wire that it causes enough voltage drop to cause the Raspberry Pi to fail for some reason. So I tried to decided to make a longer cable and use thicker wires so I cut three jumper cables and uh, added 22 gauge wiring in between them and this is what I've made I've now installed the new cable to the filament sensor I've mounted the filament sensor I've also routed the cable back through to the, the chamber below through this hole and plugged it into the Raspberry Pi I went to the G-code scripts page and changed my pause and resume scripts to allow an easier change of filament and tested this and it seems to work unfortunately I don't have footage of showing you if this is working or not so I'm not going to be able to show you that but as I said it works this also means that I will I'm not going to be able to make the video I promised some time ago about the filament sensor so it will be a part of my octoprint tutorial series the video I made last week was about installing Octopi and the video I will make next week is about turning your 3D printer on or off using the relay board but other than those two it might be the one after that so we'll see this also means that I can move the Raspberry Pi back inside the control box I'm not going to do that in this video because I want to do a few more things with the control box that requires custom designed and 3d printed parts which I don't have and I haven't designed those yet so I'm not going to do those in this video but in this video for now I'm going to move on to new spool holder design that I'm going to mount inside the enclosure and at least print a few of those and show you how it looks
here I've mounted two of the ones that I have 3D printed as you can see they look pretty good I started to 3D print another one but it failed and I ran out of time for the rest so I'm going to have to end this video here I'm going to sand those handles a bit so they will look better so don't worry about that I'm also going to mount all of these spools inside the enclosure I'm not sure about how I'm going to do the white one but the rest will be mounted the same way and I'm hoping to be able to finish those before the next video but we will see before anyone asks I wanted to address a one question uh, I'm mounting these spools inside the enclosure and some people might be worried that these PLA filaments might get damaged when I'm printing with ABS since ABS prints at a higher temperature than the PLA's glass transition temperature which means it will damage the PLA filament. Well, this answer is pretty simple, I don't intend to print with ABS that often and whenever I do I'm going to remove all of these filaments from the enclosure so don't worry about that too much so other than that I'm going to end this video here as I run out of time so thanks for watching if you enjoyed it please leave me a like I'm hoping to receive the extruder next video but I don't know when I'll get it like I'm starting to worry about it. It's been longer than a month since I've ordered it, so we'll see. Thanks for watching.